So the other big concurrency issue I think that a lot of people face is deadlocks and starvation. And there is more than this, but we are just going to cover this because these are the two big issues I think in Java programming that beginning Java developers encounter. And this idea of deadlocks or starvation is basically this idea that you have threads that are competing for resources. And because some threads might need multiple resources, those threads could get into a situation where neither of them can do anything because both of them are waiting to get that resource. And this isn't going to make a lot of sense to you, not yet, but until we actually solve the concurrency issue. But if you think about it, when we solve this concurrency issue that we had seen before the synchronization issue, we are going to have to make it so that, like we said before, we said thread A needs to be able to tell thread B, hold on, wait a minute until I'm finished and then you can do your thing. Well, this kind of leads us down this path where we get into a deadlock situation where if we have now told thread B to wait until we are done, well, what if thread B is using something that thread A needs in order to be done? Then thread A will never finish and thread B, which is holding something that thread A needs, will never finish. And they are both going to be stuck and you are going to have a deadlock. A similar issue can happen called starvation, where basically thread A keeps on being able to run, but thread B can never run. It might be thread B is set so that it is trying to grab a resource, but if it can't, then it's going to just pass the excuse into thread A and thread A keeps on going and thread B never really gets a chance to operate. It goes so slowly that it is basically being starved. And in this module, we are not really going to address how to solve these deadlock and starvation problems because these are very difficult problems but I want to introduce them to you in this module because you need to know that they exist and you just need to be thinking about when I try to solve other concurrency issues when I try to solve synchronization issues when I try to make it so that a resource needs to be locked in some way or that two threads that are competing for a resource have to take their turns. You have to make sure that you don't turn that problem into a new problem, call it a deadlock, or that you create a starvation problem. So very simply, the basic concept of a deadlock is just when two threads are competing for the same resource and one thread needs to give up a resource in order for the other thread to get it and vice versa. Whenever that happens, both threads have to stop and you end up with a deadlock. Your program can't simply run.